Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Larry Lurcy. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're going to take a look at another one of the Luminar extensions for Neo, and this is Upscale AI, which is designed to uh, you know, res up your images. Either you're starting with maybe an old image from an old camera that didn't have as much information, or maybe it's a picture you took recently, but you're going to try and crop into a really small part of it or size it up to a huge wall portrait size. So whatever your reasoning is that you need to size up an image, Upscale should help you with it. But what we're going to do is compare this to the ways that we already have to do it in Photoshop, namely just resizing it or cropping it to a size. And um, we'll compare how one way works versus the other and see if there's any noticeable difference in quality uh, or if it's just as easy to set the settings and crop it and maybe it comes out just the same. It's going to be an interesting experiment. We're going to try it and uh, figure out which one is actually the best process. If you haven't already done so, please take a second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you ring the bell so that you get notifications when new videos come out because we've got lots of new videos coming out over the next several months and you're not going to want to miss them. But without any further ado, let's roll the intro. Okay, so here's the file that we're going to work with. I haven't done anything to it. I need to go in and probably straighten up this horizon line and tweak the colors and things a little bit, but I wanted to just use the straight file so that we could get a, a better comparison. But uh, this image is 4,000 pixels wide. So what I did is I made a copy of it and basically just went into image size. Right over here is this copy I made. Went into image size and change that to 24,000 pixels. So quite a jump. Um, you can see it's a little over a gig, whereas this file is just at 30 megs. So this is what we're going to work with. We're going to take this one up to 24 as well and compare it to this. So what we'll do here is we're going to go into Luminar and we'll be right back. Okay, so I'm here in the Luminar catalog. Here's my file and uh, we can see over here it is 4,000 pixels. I'm going to drag it here into the upscale. I'm going to do six times and hit upscale. And it will take a second to work. But for you, we'll just fast forward through it. All right, so we can see here now it is 24,000 pixels across. So we will go ahead and save this back to the disk. All right, so here's our upscaled one. We'll go ahead and take a look, make sure we are still at 24,000 pixels. Okay, so we should be able to compare these two side by side. Let me get them arranged on here and we'll take a look. Okay, why don't we start right here. On the right is going to be the one that we used upscale. On the left is where we just sized it up in Photoshop. And you can certainly see a difference between them. And it's interesting because this one is certainly more jagged and pixelated, no question. This one's almost taken on like a, a painterly quality. You know, when you look up here in these, it's gone almost kind of smooth and painterly, whereas here it's, it's more detailed, I guess, but it's also kind of more pixelated. Um, we can look here at the boat. These stripes here at the front are kind of interesting to look at because here they're breaking up. They're much smoother here, but again, it almost looks painted. You can really see a difference in the water how um, it, it looks smoother. And so, you know, we can look here at the, I guess the, the cabin, whatever you would call this, of the, uh, of the boat. And I definitely think this side looks better. It's, it's smoother out. Again, it's got a bit of a painterly feel to it, but uh, definitely doesn't look as blotched up. So it looks like maybe they're incorporating some sort of um, smoothing. Let's jump over to this boat. pretty much the same. Um, it looks better than this one for sure. It's not as uh, broken up pixelated. And um, it's just kind of interesting that it has that extra look. So let's come in here, maybe uh, look at this rock. Again, I think this looks better. You can see more detail through here. It just seems to have a little more resolution. Again, you, you get some areas where it's smoothed out, but it also seems to still keep some of that detail. Okay, let's compare this umbrella here that's a little closer to the camera. And 
you can definitely see if we slide this over that you've got it it does appear more sharp here again I think some of that is the smoothing that it's doing but um, I think I would rather have this look than this one so you're kind of losing this jagged pixelated look to get a little more like I said almost painterly you can really see it up here where that looks kind of gone and here you've got kind of the almost the illusion of a little bit there and this is at 66 percent so drop back a little bit this is at 25 percent drop this back to 25 kind of interesting here to look through at the water here on the shore where um, this one has again a, a very smooth look this has a little more texture to it so you're getting more texture with just sizing it up, but you're also, some of that texture I think is coming from it, uh, the resolution starting to break up the pixels. Again, you can see here in the sand compared to here, it's just smoother. So again, keep in mind that this was pretty extreme going from a 4,000 pixel file to a 24,000 pixel file is a pretty big jump and you're asking a lot of the file and so honestly I think both of them did pretty well considering uh, what it is we're trying to do but I do think that the uh, Luminar Neo does give you a little better um, resolution look to to the final image that it does give the appearance of a little more sharpness and just kind of more overall pleasing uh, look Curious to see what you think based on looking at the two side by side. Which do you think does the better job of, of sizing up? So I'll be curious to hear your thoughts. But uh, for me, I think that Neo uh, works pretty well. Okay, now that you've seen both, which do you think is the best option? Leave me a comment below and let me know your thoughts on the two different routes we went and um, how you think the two compare. would love to hear what you think about it. But that's all we have for this week. So I will see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.